hi guys welcome again to the channel i hope you guys are doing well today so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to make a tube top from don larry basic bodies pattern as requested by some of you so once you purchase the pattern and downloaded it i have another video that explains how you can assemble and cut out your size but if you don't want to cut out your size you can keep the pattern or you cut out the largest size and then you go ahead and trace it out just the way i'm doing in this video so just place the pattern on another uh, pattern paper and then you use your tracing wheel to trace out exactly the size you want to work on so if you are into ready to wear or you are making a garment for your clients you can keep this the largest size and then anytime you need a pattern just go ahead and trace out the size that you need so you trace it out just like this so here i'm tracing out size 12. so once you've done tracing it out then go ahead and take the pattern off and then you use your pen to trace out the lines so that is what i'm doing here all right guys so once you've transfer uh your pattern to the paper this is what you will have this is the front and this is the back so this is size 12 for me so if yours is size 10 go ahead and look for size 10 and then you trace it out it's very easy once you have your tracing wheel so just you can start from the center front just the way i did it the other time and then you you know that the line from here if you're, if you're, if you're cutting out uh size 8 for instance this is one two three so you can use that as a guide so when you get to the waistline count it from the top one two three so the third line will be size eight and even the neckline one two three so just use it but once you start tracing it you will it will be very easy for you you won't get confused when you get to this that uh area so once you, you can also transfer all the notches and we're going to be uh, using this pattern to create a tube top so this is going to be a quick tutorial so once you have this the first thing you want to do is to mark what how deep you want your neckline to be so you can go down as low as six inches so from this point i will mark six inches like this so that will be my new neckline and after that i'm going to connect this line like this this line i will connect that like that and then I'll, i'm going to create a new neckline so if you want to create a sweetheart neckline for instance you can just you can just mark this um, point you transfer it to this center front line and from that center front line you can mark as low as one inch 1.5 inch two inches depending on you know how deep you want it to be so i'm just going to mark uh 1.5 inch here so i'll mark 1.5 inch and i will use my free hand you can use your french curve to create a sweetheart neckline so i'm going to create that sweetheart neckline so like this and then i'm going to create that through to this point so make sure you transfer the notch on your pattern to this point so i'll create it like this So once you've done that, then we're going to create a slanted line. Note that our half shoulder is usually slanted, not as deep as this. So I will just use my free hand to do that. So can you see that? So this is the old uh, armhole curve, not neckline. So this is the armhole curve. So you make it slanted like this. So once you've done that, we're going to be separating this panel this is the center panel and this is the side panel for the front so before you cut them house you're going to blend these parts you want to make it curve curve it out like this so the total intake i have here will be around 
are one quarter inch if i measure it so that will be one quarter inch so you create it like that and then we move on to the back so that is all you need to do for the front and then you make sure you place a notch here and you can also place another notch just as a guide so i'm just going to place another notch here so once you've done that and then we're going to move to the back so all you need to do at the back you can see the bust line here so all you need to so depending on how low you want it you can go down by half inch or one one inch so i'll just go down by half inch here and then you're going to connect that through to the under the ham so you can use the uh, curved part of your french curve as simple as that so we're going to so this is the side panel so make sure you label it and this is the center panel for the back and then for the side panel you're going to be cutting times two for the side panel you cut times two for the front the center panel you're going to cut times one and you are going to be cutting it on fold so you cut it on fold and also note that no seam allowance has been added to this so you can add it on the fabric and that is what we're going to do so no seam added no seam added no seam added so to the back now the center panel you're going to be cutting times two of the center panel because you're going to be adding seam allowance to it so i will go ahead and add depending on what you are adding to the back you can go ahead you can decide to add seam to the back you can decide to add grommet to the back so depending on what you are adding to the back or make sure you had seam allowance to the back like that so and this will be the seam allowance i remember that no seam allowance has been added so i will go ahead now and cut this out So I've cut it out and this is what we have for the front and the back. So I'll go ahead and show you how to cut on the fabric and quickly how you can sew this. So I'll be using this satin fabric. So you can use any fabric of your choice. Any medium weight fabric will be fine. See, i've cut it out this is the center front cut on fold so you don't need to add any seam allowance to the center front because you're cutting it on fold so you had your seam allowance round to the side panel you had it round then to the center back because we've already added seam allowance you don't need to add more but you can add more depending on how many inches you want there so make sure you had your seam allowance round around just like this so if you are I, ju I will just show you how to connect this and the outcome of this so this is not going to be a finished uh, dress or something so if you are making a dress 
go ahead and cut out the lining exactly the same way so you cut out the lining exactly what you've cut out and then you know i have a tutorial on the channel already that shows how you can turn your two blessed top uh with lining so I i'll put the link down in the description box so just showing you how you can use the bodice pattern to create the tube top so that is the purpose of this tutorial and also make sure that you transfer the notches to the fabric just like I've done here. So that will guide us when we want to sew. So I'll go ahead and assemble this just to show you, you know, how it will look like. So if you are making a dress, make sure you had your lining. So I'll go ahead and assemble this now and I will start with the front. So all you need to do is to open up the front, the right side up like this. And then this is the side panel. So you place the right side each by the side so this is what the front will look like all you just need to do is to match the notches can you see the notches so just match the notches and then you pin it down the front will look like i will still join it and show you the outcome of it so this is the back this is the back so you can op go ahead and open up the back as well so this is the center back and this is the side can you see that so this we go with this and this we go with this so you can go ahead and pin it down you sew this down you do the same thing to this side down and then you do the same thing to the front so you sew it down like this and then the other side and once i'm done with that i will just go ahead and join it together at the side just to show you the final outcome of this if you are yet to watch my tutorial on how i join the lining with the uh, tube top i'll put the link down in the description box so that you can watch that and then once you are done, just go ahead and add your peplum or whatever you are adding to the uh, down part of it. So I'll go ahead and do this and I will show you, I will join it together at the side and I will show you guys the final outcome. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like after joining the side panel to the center panel and then to the back uh, through the side seam. So this is what we came up with. So that is how to use the basic bodice pattern to create any design. I will show you in another video how you can use the basic bodice pattern to create an half shoulder pattern. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful. I'll put the link to the uh, basic bodice pattern down in the description below. So if you would like to purchase it, it's available on my website. Alright guys, so this is all for now. Until I see you guys in another video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.